We're back now at 755 and happening today, the free application for federal student aid, more commonly known as FAFSA, officially goes live for students and families needing to apply for financial aid for college. This year, because of the pandemic, officials are encouraging families to fill out your FAFSAs early. Joining us live now is Dr. Suwan Butte from the Louisiana Office of Student Financial Aid. Dr. Butte, good to have you with us this morning. This day, October good to 1st, be with you. absolutely happens every single year. The FAFSA opens and students and families fill it out. But why is this year different and maybe a little little bit more important for folks to pay attention to? Certainly, that is a phenomenal question. Uh, these are uncertain times. I think we can all agree on that. And in times of uncertainty, we need to focus on things that we can control. And you can control filing the FAFSA. That is the one-stop shop for federal aid, for filing the application for TOPS, for need-based aid, for filing the application for the GO Grant, for work study. So definitely this is something families can control and filing early is critical because that gives families the opportunity to see how much aid is available to them when they're making their college plans. Absolutely, and we know that the pandemic has brought a lot of economic strain and financial hardship for many families. So this year, there may be families who didn't think that they needed to fill out a FAFSA that, that, that will be filling out one. In Louisiana, the FAFSA is actually a TOPS requirement. I've got a graphic that I think that we can pull up with eight common uh, errors that happen and things that you can do to avoid falling into those errors. So what's the most important thing that families need to keep in mind when they're filling out this application? Fantastic. First of all, check your social security card. Use your legal given name. Use the same name each time on each of your documents. Do not use nicknames. Uh, do not put apostrophes in. All of these things can cause errors. Double check that FAFSA before you finish filing it. Make sure that you've got an FSA ID. That's your electronic signature. That's your parents' electronic signature if you are a dependent student. Make sure that you sign that FAFSA, both parent and student, before it's submitted. Because if you don't, you'll think you're done, right? And then you'll create errors. Errors create delays in processing. Delays in processing mean that you may get a fee bill from the college of your choice, and the aid is not posted to it. So again, when we say early, we are stressing this year Try to get this filed by February 1st of this year. Um, there may be a lot of family stealing, as you said. My 2019 taxes are nowhere near where I am right now. Special consideration is available at your institution of choice. But for them to consider you, right, and you to be able to document that your circumstances have changed, your financial situation has changed, you have to first file. So again, file. Make sure the information is correct. Use your legal given name, same name on each document. Make sure it's signed. Double check your work. And that application does open again today. Dr. Suwan Butte with the Louisiana Office of Student Financial Aid. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to have a link to your office on our website, brproud.com. Thank you. Thank